So if you were with us earlier, you talked to, well, you heard us talk about there that the Ron McDonald House is uh, letting some guests come in to cook some chili. It's a chili cook-off with the, uh, the Rotary Clubs across the area, but then they all feed the families there at the Ronald McDonald House. So with Rotary Club of Evansville is Bradley Colvert. And uh, so you won last year, is that correct? Yes, thank you for having me. Yes, I did win last year. Um, we have three categories. We have traditional, spicy, and white. And then we have an overall grand champion as well. Um, I won the traditional and then the overall grand champion last year. All right, so let's talk about your recipe. Is there uh, just an easy thing to put together? Yeah, I mean, I, I was gonna, you know, uh, thinking about doing some authentic, make it, you know, puff it up a little bit, but <laughs> honestly, it's it's really easy, it's simple. It's a, it's a little dump recipe. Um, it's my wife's recipe. Um, she wanted me to make sure that uh, they knew that it was her recipe, but um, yeah. but yeah, I mean, it's really just a bunch of ingredients, dump it in, heat it up, make sure it simmers for a while to reduce, and I was a skeptical at first whenever she first made it for mm -hmm. me, but um, now it's kind of a staple in our family. So Well, it's going to be cold night, so I don't want you to the doghouse. So yes. good thing you mentioned the wife <laughs> there. So you've got a few things in your pot already. So what do you have in there right now? Yeah, so I just kind of uh, threw some stuff together just for the sake of time. But um, I've got, uh, the first thing is we have some uh, Italian uh, sausage here mm -hmm. that we'll make. So you kind of just throw that in. It's one pound. Um, and then... Um, what you'll do is you'll do another pound of ground beef, so a little ground beef and uh, Italian sausage combination, um, a pound each. And then, um, like I said, it's really a dump recipe. Um, so, you know, you'll get a can, uh, five cans of the, uh, the original Rotel. You'll dump it in there. Um, and like I said, I was a skeptical at first um, just because, you know, the, the recipe that my, I grew up on, it was tomato sauce and whatnot, where it was a little more, uh, it was a little more saucy. But um, she swore that, you know, give it time, mm -hmm. it'll reduce and, you know, you'll have, you'll have very saucy chili. So um, anyway, um, so five cans of Rotel is what okay. you want to do. Um, and then you'll throw in some dark red kidney beans here, um, one can. Do you drain those or do you leave nope, as is? Nope, you'll, you'll leave as is. That okay. helps with the juice. Um, that helps bring kind of bring the, the flavor out. I'm not really a big bean person. Um, and one time I didn't make it without beans and it just didn't taste the same. Uh -huh, so, um, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's definitely coming together. And then uh, next we got our spices. So you'll throw in, oh, thank you. Oh, sure. Um, so throw in two packets of the Chilio here. It's, it's the original Chilio. It comes in different flavors. Um, but um, you'll throw two, two pack, whole packets of that in there as well. Um, you'll give that a good mix. Um, and like I said, it'll come together once it simmers. So if it doesn't look like it's, it's anything special right now, I promise you. <laughs> Just give it some time. Yeah, absolutely. So um, what you'll do is you'll give that a nice stir. You'll let that come to a, to a boil um, and then a nice simmer. And then you'll uh, move on to your spices here. Okay, so we have spice um, So spice wise, we have uh, some garlic powder sure. as well. So you'll dump that in about a, about a teaspoon or to taste. Um, and then next we got a little bit of basil as well. Um, so oh, really? Some, basil in there, Throw in some huh? basil. Okay. Um, and then uh, you'll throw three bay leaves in. Um, and you can either take those out or leave it in for a surprise for your, for your guests that are eating it when they, <laughs> they get a, a they nice, will surprise you sometimes a nice there, little yeah. bay leaf in your, in your bowl. <laughs> um, and then lastly is a little bit... Um, a little bit of um, rosemary. So don't go oh, overboard right. on the rosemary. It's a um, strong one. Yes, I've definitely, um, in my early days of making this for my wife, um, went heavy on the oregano and I got, you know, a stern talking to. So, um, but. Um, I think she's a lot. So she lets you cook this, but she's judging you at the same time. She is, yeah. She, like I said, she, um, her dad kind of, uh, she grew up on this. So, and it's, it's a staple in our household and it's, um, you know, it's been great. I don't, you know, I thought, oh, I'll, I'll make my, uh, you know, the chili that I grew up on sure. um, for, you know, for my family, half and half maybe to, to kind of keep things even. But honestly, we just make this now. So, so you mentioned, basically, it's, you said it's a dump. And then you let it simmer. So once you get everything in there, how long are you talking on the stove? Um, simmer on low. Um, you can either keep it covered or or not um, to kind of keep. I know chili kind of sticks to the bottom, so you want to make sure that it doesn't stick um, and kind of burn. Okay. At, uh, but 30 minutes. Um, uh, Chili is one of those things where the longer it cooks, the better it gets. And then also for the next day, the longer it sits um, oh, in sure. the refrigerator, the better it gets. So, um, so a minimum of 30 minutes on simmer, and uh, you know you should be should be ready to go. All right, and so this is actually the finished product right here. So we'll kind of yeah. smooth it off the side because I don't want to spill anything. But there's the finished product there. And then you're right. That's a big change from letting it simmer for a while, let everything come together. I mean, this looks great. So I'm going to dig in here <laughs> really quick and try out this chili. It's got a little kick, but I'm also might be a, might be a little wuss when it comes to this. You are correct. 
<laughs> that has a kick to it. <laughs> Are you entering the spicy concert? So the funny story is, is last year I originally um, entered into the spice, and then my buddy who entered in traditional um, brought his chili, and we both kind of gave a little taste test because he said, I, I think this is pretty spicy. Yep. And me and another guy took a bite, and we both were on fire. And so we swapped places at the last second, and that actually won the spicy category okay. last year, and they nicknamed it the flamethrower. Um, I think Ron actually is the one who uh, is the one who nicknamed it the flamethrower. Oh. So it, it had some kick. All right. Well, thanks, Bradley. Really appreciate it. This is very good chili, and he has given me the recipe. I will give it to you because it is award-winning. I'll have it for you later today on TriceTheHomePage.com. Ron's forecast for you up next.